Hello, my name is Mr. Jose Aguilar and I am the teacher for Modern World History. Uh, I just wanted to go over some basic things for back to school night through looking at the syllabus in our class website. So first up, my contact information is at the top. Also, students should already have a physical copy of this and this is also online. Uh, but overall, what the main idea of this course is, is just learning about modern history through a thematic lens. We briefly kind of talk about modern history as like the basically 1453 to now. But again, the events are important, but the themes are more important. So we'll be looking at main themes and how these themes can relate to the challenges that your student will encounter in their lifetime. So I try to make everything relevant and we do everything in terms of history from an applied lens. So they'll be applying history to modern day things uh, or modern day uh, events happening today. Uh, the themes that we'll be learning about is imperialism, revolutions, cooperation and conflict, Cold War, genocide, terrorism, and globalization. All things both good and bad as we can see here um, that your students will probably be encountering as they go uh, throughout their lives. I have standard grading policy, um, no different than any other uh, teacher. And the late work policy is pretty simple, uh, just open communications, uh, but overall just get your work in on time, however I can be flexible. The expectations we created together on the first day have to do with the values that we're bringing to the class and we'll practice those values. Required materials are pretty simple, just a spiral notebook, writing utensils, a two pocket folder for organization, and then the Chromebook set that you can check out from the library. Academic integrity policy is also standardized, so basically making sure that students are able to get as much as they can out of the class and not just trying to go for the grade by cheating. Uh, the main resources that I have down here, uh, first up is the historical skills chart, which is essentially uh, the types of skills you can expect your student to learn uh, throughout their time in this class. Uh, so they should be able to do all these things by the end of the year, and I've formatted the class to where they will have a chance to practice all of these skills um, uh, throughout. And then finally, the Google Sites link. This is pretty important, a website that I created for them. Uh, so you just go to the sophomore version of it, and then all of the units are here. Uh, some of them are not completed, but I will complete them when we get closer to those units. You can look around, kind of see the basic concepts of the unit, see what your students may be looking at, what they're learning. If you're very curious, you can see the types of materials they'll be looking at, the types of readings they'll be doing, the types of videos they'll be watching, um, types of slideshows I'll be presenting. And then also finally, uh, the types of things I'm expecting them to do to demonstrate their skills and understanding of these key themes. So like for example, this will be a class discussion, a Socratic seminar. Uh, that's really all I wanted to share with you, but please feel free to contact me via these uh, links here, uh, via phone or email, either works for me. And I'm excited to start this year uh, with your students. So thanks for your time. Appreciate it.